play this. We've just come through. We've hit a good shot in, but it's just rolled through. I'm going to show you two ways to play this. One where it's right up against the collar here. I think a lot of times when people are playing this shot, you know, they end up trying to chip it and they jam it in there. So this is a really simple one. I'm not sure if, sure if you can see how much slope. This is a huge slope. If I get the ball to here even, it's going to run down pretty good. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grip down the club pretty much to the steel. I'm going to take my putting grip here. And I'm just going to try and find this location here. If I can just get it to end somewhere around there. I think this would be, this would be quite a good shot. Now I'm still expecting it to run past probably a good two or three feet if it's a really good shot. But you can see how good that little bladed shot is. I'm just hitting basically the equator of the ball, so the middle of the ball, and it runs. Even if it's come back here and it's in the rough, it's not right up against the collar, as long as I can see the middle of the ball. Now, the interesting thing about this shot is it really jumps. So as soon as I touch this ball, it really has a lot of topspin, so I don't have to hit it very hard at all. I've got that almost too dead. I've got a little low, but even from a little delicate shot, I'm underneath the hole. I've given myself a chance. And I'm not, you know, hitting it too far or too short. So the little bladed wedge is a great little shot around the greens. Okay, so we've got a little runoff here. And it's actually quite steep. It's probably a good six feet above me here. So it's a tricky little shot. And I often see this here because we don't have much distance between us and the flag. I often see people grabbing lob wedge in this situation, trying to throw it up, which is a tough shot to do. or inevitably they try to bump it into the bank but because they've got so much loft on it it's feet above me here so it's a tricky little shot and I often see this here because we don't have much distance between us and the flag I often see people grabbing a lob wedge in this situation trying to throw it up which is a tough shot to do or inevitably they try to bump it into the bank but because they've got so much loft on it, the bank just eats it up and catches. So what I'm suggesting here is grab your 8-iron or your 7-iron. One of those there work well. If the bank is very sticky, you can just close your club face ever so slightly. If it's not that sticky, just keep it square. So for this one, I feel like it's going to grab a lot. So I'm just going to shut the face ever so slightly. I'm going to aim just a touch right. I'm just going to play a normal little chip. You can see that there runs up onto the green. Yeah, it's a little.